I shall no longer see the sun or stars or feel the winds play on my cheeks, polluted by crimes and torn by the bitterest remorse. Where can I find rest but in death? Farewell, Frankenstein. The bitter sting of remorse will not cease to wrinkle in my wounds until death shall close them forever. But soon I shall die, and these burning miseries will be extinct. I shall ascend my funeral pyre triumphantly, and exult in the agony of the torturing flames. My ashes will be swept into the sea by the winds. Farewell! The End the poor monster! Where is he going to find firewood in the Arctic? There, there, Roger. The monster movie is all over. Let's watch what we really came to see. Oh, boy! In Toontown last week, the cartoon community celebrated the demise of one of its most hated members. Judge Doom confessed murderer of private investigator Theodore Valiant, brother of Eddie Valiant. Doom's plot to turn Toontown into a freeway was foiled when he was dissolved in a pool of deadly dip, a victim of his own evil creation. In reality, Judge Doom was a toon named Baron Von Rotten. Von Rotten began his film career in 1921 at a small cartoon studio in Kansas City. Von Rotten was commissioned to portray villains in early black-and-white cartoons, but when he moved to Hollywood in 1923, his career took off. It was there that he joined the newly created Toon Actors Guild and soon gained a reputation as the Toon of a Thousand Faces. Some of his most famous portrayals included the evil sawmill operator in Bump on a Log, the Minotaur in Mary, Mac, and the Minotaur, the Abominable Snowman in Mouse in Wonderland, Quasimoto in The Hunchback of Osaka Castle. During the war, he acted in propaganda cartoons, portraying the enemy. During the filming of Mother Goose Step, Von Rotten had an accident. An exploding grenade left him unconscious for two weeks. When he finally awoke, his friends sensed a change in his personality. After the accident, Von Rotten was rarely seen out of makeup. He continued to portray his characters long after films were completed. Consequently, few people know what Von Rotten really looks like. This rare footage shows him at the hospital, recovering from the accident. A result of the accident... Von Run's most unusual features were his eyes. They were a shocking contradiction to his monochromatic wardrobe. Doctors were at a loss to explain his blazing red eyes, which Von Rotten went to great lengths to hide behind dark glasses. Members of the press took a tour of Von Rotten's mansion recently. Memorabilia from hundreds of cartoons including props, costumes, exposure sheets, scripts, and storyboards cover the walls of his estate. In Von Rotten's private chambers on the top floor of the mansion, reporters glimpsed his top-secret makeup and plastic surgery laboratory, complete with ink, paint, brushes, and elaborate photo-retouching equipment. In the center of it all stood an old multi-plane camera, allegedly stolen in 1940. All that remains of Baron Von Rotten is a jar of dip in which he was dissolved after a struggle with Eddie Valiant, a private investigator from Maroon Cartoons in Los Angeles. Mr. Valiant holds an old studio model sheet of Baron Von Rotten, the evil toon better known as Judge Doom. Toons on the march! Hey! What kind of new thrill do you call that? It didn't even mention me! <laughs> what an idea! Okay, boys, listen up! I know how we can bring back Doom! How? Recreate him from an old model sheet! First, 
We have to find some old model sheets. Where? An old model sheet of Judge Doom. No what? Now we visit the evil ink and paint lady. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Thanks, Tuts. Where to? Von Rotten Manor! What's this? A multiplane camera. We put the cell on here, throw a sheet over it so it don't blow away. Stand back. Okay, boys, let's check it out. Hmm. 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 Ah! It's alive! Alive! Of course I'm alive! Where am I? And how did I get here? We recreated you from an old model sheet from Maroon Cartoons. Maroon Cartoons? Toons? Toons? Roger Rabbit! Yeah, remember? You and my brothers got killed in a puddle of dip. Yes, now I remember. And now, it's time for revenge. Revenge, as only I, the tune of a thousand faces, can afflict upon that carrot-sucking rabbit and his bottle-sucking pal, Eddie Valiant. Here's the newspaper, boss. Tells all about it. <laughs> Roger Rabbit. I'll kill him. Kill him. Oh, no, wait. I've got a better idea. I'll ruin his reputation. I'll destroy his career. I'll fix it so Roger Rabbit won't be able to do anything funny. Cartoon character assassination! <laughs> it's worse than death. When I'm done, he'll want to die. 